hello to your very beautiful faces i am back finally with the sims 4 uh cinderella and uh her friends have all made it to the top of the mountain where they found this amazing uh, central peak coffee house so who'd have thought that you'd have a brownstone building at the top of a mountain but there it was so cinderella is very happy because coffee is like the most important thing in her life right now <laughs> uh, so yeah she's just enjoying warming up from the cold there um, and uh, having a good time with her friends so uh, but she does have uh, this gig tomorrow she needs to she needs to get back home she needs to get back down the mountain get back home um, and be prepared for this gig so 9 a.m. on Monday it's getting pretty late so I think we definitely have to wrap up it here so uh, Knox are you ready uh, Cinderella's ready she's up and moving already so I think we're just going to uh, I need to end the holiday now how do we do that how do I end the vacation End vacation there we go so sorry guys <laughs> you're gonna have to make your own way home I really like that we flew on our brooms up the mountain as well without any climbing skill like I love cross expansion features like that like hacks I'm so pleased with myself for figuring out I could do that I'm like I'm a genius I'm an actual magical genius <laughs> that's that's what I am so uh, going home this will end the vacation yes go home come on don't worry about how they got home the magic okay they just had some kind of like glimmer stone that, made, that allowed them to teleport directly back to the trailer it's not a trailer what is it a container so we're back at their very slightly grim container home here mmm not the fanciest but you know what it's improving it's getting better I'm, I'm happy with the progress that we've made um and you know we're, we're superstar celebrities now um uh, and uh we've got a little bit of money so i think actually as cinderella's um fame career starts to start, starts to boost and she starts to get somewhere she gets a bit of celebrity status i think we need to move out of this like it's nice that it's her branding you know her branding is that she's trash it worked for tana mojo why can't it work for cinderella so or shane dawson um so yeah do you know what we're, we're, we're working that trash uh, branding aesthetic it, you know it's it's gonna get us to the top and then we're gonna get like some nice um nice home in del sol valley i think uh we'll, we'll get something a bit subtle at first you know just a, like a nice little what they call condo i don't know what condo is someone explain to me what a condo is <laughs> i just know that they have them in america it's like it sounds it sounds cute it sounds like something we want to go for i'm sure nox is going to appreciate it as well and we can still take that eco-friendly vibe to uh, you know what nox you can make it your life's mission to improve the environmental footprint of del sol valley you can make make everybody care about recycling instead of consumerism you can make everybody care about plants and not just fame um you know this is something we can accomplish together with goals right we need to get Knox in a career though he's not got a job at the moment which i appreciate about him you know that he's a good looking looking guy does he really need to work let's face it but i think he does need to get some kind of like structure to his life he needs some kind of some goals some ambition uh, a sense of like actually wanting to go somewhere and be something so he's going to be a conservationist obviously that is oh actually hang on that's the solani one though isn't it well maybe we can go to solani maybe that's what he wants to do but civil designer i think is what i was actually thinking of as a civil designer get involved in planning and designing solutions to all kinds of environment that, that's him that's what he wants to do right come on you can be a converse conversationist <laughs> you can be a conversationalist another day Knox. <laughs> right we're in we're doing it uh work assignment acquire recycled materials i like this because we're still using eco lifestyle even though cinderella's kind of adjusting priorities slightly so uh get recycled materials so I guess we'll send him over here and uh, I can't resist I can't resist it has to be done do you know and then she can simstagram about it <laughs> she'll be like oh, I'm trash <laughs> here we go off we go to do the dirty in the dirtiest place <laughs> in um what's where are we i forgot what this place is called oh it's gone out of my head Ugh. not bridlington bay no the name of it's completely gone out of my head i don't know where i live anymore i've got completely distracted with mount kumarebi um and del sol valley so uh we, you know 
in a mental way, like from a mental oh, perspective, I've already left this place. I'm not here anymore. Um, I mean, but I think she should live in the moment for a moment, if you know what I mean. So romantic. It's just, it's just goals, right? But I like it. I like the aesthetic for her. I think it suits her. I love the animation. I love how it like blurts them out and then they have that little cuddle on the floor. If the dumpsters are rocking, don't come a knocking. Noxing! It's taking them quite a while. Come on, Cinderella, we need to we need to simstagram about this. <laughs> we need to get that that publicity up here. We need to create a new meme or a new gif that people can use when they feel like trash, but also feel kind of sexy. You know, that's our brand, that's our aesthetic. Sexy trash. <laughs> it's so cute, and he helps her up. Oh, and then he picks the bogeys off her arm. I don't know why there'd be bogeys in the bin. <laughs> like, I don't think people dispose of the bogeys in that way, but uh, maybe, maybe. Um, right, but Cinderella, look, we need to get you like actually in a good mood for your audition, so go back home. Look, Go back home. Nox, we really need to get you some, like, trash. Oh, I, don't, I don't know how that happened. Like, because they're trash, they count as trash now. Um, we need to... How do I do this? I can never remember how to do this. Acquire recycled. Use a recycler or recycle items and get recycling materials. So, sort out recyclables. Can I do that? There you go. Do that, Nox. Right, Cinderella. She's very happy. And why wouldn't she be? Wait, wait, no. No, Cinderella, no. Wait, hang on, we forgot to do something. We forgot to, forgot to do something very, very important. So, um, urgh, eek. Try, try not to cheat here. Fly here, please, Cinderella. Come on. Forget about going home. Because you've got to add to your Instagram story. <laughs> the broomsticks just make me laugh. <laughs> Dirty flirty. This gives a whole new meaning to getting down and funky, doesn't it? Yeah, in a good way, right? Uh, reach the summit. <laughs> Everything's just like a sex pun <laughs> down here today. Pleasantly satisfied and just married. What does it say? The promise of a lifetime of companionship would make any sim happy. All right, let's 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 get you both home then. Um, why won't it let me actually do that? Here we go. Just fly here. So she needs a pee. Oh, we need to get like a double bed. Um, like, I don't mind sharing a single bed with Knox, but <laughs> I don't know if Knox is going to find the giant framed portrait of, of Vlad a little bit off putty. He might be like, Cinderella, <laughs> Cinderella, you live in a container. <laughs> Why do you have. <laughs> Oh dear, what's wrong with me? Just, just, just listen, listen, listen. Let a girl do what a girl has to do, okay? So, a girl has needs, and sometimes those needs involve woohooing with your significant other. And sometimes, sometimes that's just what, what we've got to do, you know? What have we got here? So use a recycler to recycle items and get re recycling materials. Right, we can do that. Wait, is she coming all the way? Oh, I'm just going to speed through it. Insert a sometime later gif here. A few moments later. Okay, so now, now that that's uh, achieved, uh, I think it's time to go into the house and uh, do probably sleep I should think oh actually she needs to pee that's what that's what I was going to the bush for in the first place it's all right she's already on it she's got that one is this what is this is this the juice fizzer it is oh juice we've got juice I forgot we were making juice we just went on holiday and left it to do its thing he's got all sorts in here Knox who knew who knew you'd have all these goodies oh that's the stuff from um fizzy lemon juice um what do we want to call it uh uh give me a minute i need to think i need to think about this i've got it 
I've got it. Get down and juicy. That's what we're going to call our first juice. I like it. All right, okay. Oh, look, I love... Right, okay. Sims team. If, if anyone is watching, I don't know why they'd be watching my videos. They're like, we're not interested, Cinderella. So like, in fact, you annoy all of us. But here we go. We've got this, like... I love the way that they did this. It's it's so cute. Like, I like it because you can set up, like, a little convenience store. Um, a little supermarket with all these little... Oh, I just I just love the way it looks. Like, visually, it's it's... I couldn't have asked for anything more. Uh, we know Get Down and Juicy. Can I actually take the individual bottles out though? I don't think I can, can I? No. I love it. I love it. I love it. love it. Put it back in your inventory. Do, they don't spoil, do they? Oh, they do spoil. Wait, what, put them in there then. Oh, no. Right, okay, but that's fine. That's fine. Okay, um, <laughs> what am I doing with my life? <laughs> she never knows. Wait, Cinderella, why didn't you pee in the bush? Fertilise it again. It's not fertilised enough. I kind of wish you could scoop the poop and put it on your plants. Um, Nox, I think your your um, your green thumb is needed over here right now. These do not look too happy. Uh, you could fertilise them though. Probably not with the dragon fruit. I think we need to plant the dragon fruit. Um, here we go. One, two, three. Nox, come and plant this. Stop using water, Nox. No, we have to be conservative about these things. I can't remember if I still have the lot tray actually. I think I may have got sick of it and taken it off. <laughs> I was like, no, I'm bored of this now. I want to just actually play the game. Um, get leftovers. Who knows what they're going to be? <laughs> Who knows what they're going to be? Did I take the lot tray off? I think I did, yeah. So it's not off the grid anymore. But well, that's fine. That's fine. It just got a bit grindy and I wanted to show off other features and I couldn't show off the features because we didn't have any electricity or like water or anything like that. So do you know what? Sometimes, sometimes you've just got to go back on the grid, especially when you're a celebrity, right? And you promote it. You've got like a, a certain lifestyle to promote, you know, this is how you make an impact on the world. This is how you uh, kind of challenge that celebrity culture of, of materialism of consumerism of like having to have the latest like $50 t-shirt or whatever it is you just get down and dirty with a good looking man in a dumpster post it to simstagram promote that like you know vegan eco-friendly lifestyle all the perks of it right and then you know that's how you change the world that's how you change the world that's how it's done one simstagram post at a time <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about anymore. <laughs> Why are you here? Why are you on my channel? I don't know. <laughs> Have you not got anything better to do? Um, no, I appreciate it. I appreciate you all being here. Um, really do appreciate those of you that support me. And I need it. Let's face it, we all know that I need the support. <laughs> How I made it this far in life, we'll never know. Right, okay, let's keep going. So, Cinderella, you are eating. Oh, she's in a really good mood, actually. Nox, you're going to have to get your butt off the bed, I'm afraid, because you should probably go and fertilise that bush as well. Uh, maybe don't try for... I kind of want them to try for a baby, but, you know, Cinderella, she's a career woman. She's got goals. She's got ambitions. She's got dreams. So, baby, definitely on the cards, but we have to get her through this audition before we think about getting her up the duff. So, here we go. Sleep, please, Cinderella. Come on, let's get you to that audition. We can do this. We'll give you a shower in the morning. Look, Vlad will look, watch over while you while you sleep. <laughs> He'll keep you safe. He'll protect you. Like, standing guard there while you sleep. Nothing to fear. Nothing to fear. It's not like he's just about to step out of the painting like that. <laughs> like, like it's some kind of portal from another dimension. Like, maybe he's got the same painting in his house and he just literally steps through it. Uh, creepy. Okay, so... <laughs> Nox, what are you going to do? What are you going to do, Nox? Foxy, Foxy, Noxy, what's your plan? He's gonna, he's gonna have a shower. I hope he's being eco-friendly. He's here having a bubble bath. Nox, Nox, that is not the most eco-friendly choice you could have possibly made. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be frank with you here. I really want this to grow. I want to cause trouble with it. So what else does he have to actually do for his career? So he just has to acquire those recycled materials. We've got a lot of money, so maybe we want to get a recycling thing. Um, uh, 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 uh. 
If anyone knows a decent mod to stop the sharing is caring from happening, like to either completely remove it from the game, completely stop it from um, autonomously happening, I would really appreciate it because I'm getting really sick of everything getting stolen from community lots. I did have one, but it doesn't seem to be working. Um, and I do need to, I started to make my own version of it, but I'm honestly too lazy. So there must be a mod out there to stop sharing is caring. So if you know of a good one, uh, an effective one that works, please do let me know because I need it. I need it. <laughs> Dr. F's official Robotnik's workstation. I just watched Sonic again yesterday. Um, built, from, built from parts designed for construction jobs. This robotics workstation is used to... Sorry, I was thinking about Dr. Robotnik. Um, is used to build and dismantle projects big and small. No job is trivial for the station. Okay, cool. Um, that's not what I want, though. Why am I looking at that? Um, what... Uh, I can't remember where it is. Where would it be? Right, let's filter. I love the filters. It's so helpful. Um, eco lifestyle. We need the recycling majiggy maduhika. Uh, recycling majiggy maduhika. Where are you? Where would it be if it's not under activities and skills? Appliances. Is that it? There it is. Home recycle. I like the blue actually. I like the the blue because it kind of has that nice contrast with the red and the yellow. It's like primary colours, so we'll stick that about there. There we go. So Knox can do his stuff with that in the morning, ready for his job. Or even now, because I don't think he's sleeping, is he? Oh, there's potatoes! Knox, Knox, come and get these potatoes. Can we make putchin? Uh, Putchin's made from potatoes, right? Uh, harvest all the potatoes. Come on, Knox. Yeah, I'm sorry for the big break in between videos. Um, I know that my channel's been very, very quiet over Christmas. I just, I, I got really kind of tired and kind of like, you know when you get a bit in your head um, and it makes you feel a bit less sociable? Um, and I thought, if I do videos, I'm going to be forcing myself to do them and I won't have anything interesting to say. And you know when you just feel a little bit sort of, a little bit kind of flat, like like I don't know I, I didn't feel like I'd be entertaining if I filmed so I thought it's better to just not post things rather than post something that I'm not going to be happy with uh recycle from inventory what are you actually recycling here I didn't ask you to recycle anything um so he's going to do that um autonomously isn't he and annoy me uh it's a pile of discarded food don't do the cauldron we kind of need that um debug item sure uh or well, the debug item, sure. Debug item, sure. There you go. Right, so, oh, we've done that now, good. Okay, so we've done his job thing. Uh, and he goes to work in three hours and he's in a pretty decent mood. So once Cinderella gets up, which should hopefully be quite soon, uh, then Knox can also have a, a bit of sleep before he goes to work. But can he, in the meantime, I don't know what all that lag's about. Um, I've not, I do mean I do, it's because I've not updated any mods, <laughs> like none of my mods are updated, so I'm not surprised that I've got a bit of lag. Um, you received your first bits and pieces from using the recycler, have it? Yeah, okay, sure, thanks. Um, can we load ingredients and put some potatoes in here, please? It's quite important. This is, oh, wait, hang on, I just clicked off it by accident. Load ingredients. <gasps> we can put potatoes in here. I love this. Thank you, Sims team, because I love the Nectar Maker um, in The Sims 3, and I actually modded it so you could put any ingredient in it. It's like it got really silly and really funny because you can make all sorts of like garlic wines and you know really disgusting like garlic banana wine. <laughs> And I like doing things like that. Uh, I want him to actually go for work, to work this time, please, just for today, and um, because I want to focus on Cinderella. Um, oh wait, why? Wait, wait. Oh, Cinderella's up. Right, Knox, please start fizzing, and then come and get in bed. But I like that you can make weird combinations. I like that you can make things that are like disgusting or funny, you know. And you're not just. And I like that you can like combine ingredients and just kind of do your own thing. And actually, I just, I love it. So 10 out of 10 Sims team, thank you so much for doing that for us. Uh, really happy to have that feature in the game. Uh, Cinderella's having a shower. Thankfully, she's doing something sensible with her autonomy today. She's got all the skills up. She's doing really, really well. How is her acting skill? Her acting skill's only level one. Maybe, maybe she needs to 
work on that. I don't think I've got a mirror, so I don't know. Has she got anything like like a mic or anything like that? Because she's got a lot of random stuff in her inventory there. Uh, oh, does she have to send some stuff off to Plopsy? Wait. Uh, what have we got going on here? Is that... Ship on Plopsy. Oh, we've got so much stuff to sell on Plopsy here. Uh, sell that on Plopsy. All the, all the foot pictures. People want the foot pictures. Ship on Plopsy. Uh, ship on Plopsy. What's happening with this? Uh, I think that's still doing its thing, right? So they're still selling. Okay, so we've sold quite a decent amount of stuff on Plopsy now, which is brilliant. Anything else, Cinderella? No, it's all gone. Good job. Well job, Cinderella. Uh, we... I, I always think they look like they need water in and then they don't need water in. It's very confusing. Um, look here. Uh, Plopseed. This sim has made a sale on Plopsy. Having an internet stranger buy your stuff is surprisingly validating. Keep it up. Okay. <laughs> buy your stuff and she's selling feet pictures. Uh, oh, yes. Ooh! It's time for Cinderella to head off to work. Would you care to follow? Join. Okay. <laughs> I think it's funny. Okay. Okay. Is it okay if I think load screen dialogues are funny? I think it's okay. Right, this is what we've been waiting for. It's snow time. Let's go. Okay. Lights, camera, action. Hello, my baby. Hello, my darling. Hello, my good time girl. I don't know where that came from. I had a, I've had been watching a lot of New Girl <laughs> over Christmas, okay? I'm just I'm having my moments. Just allow me. Allow me. The, allow the insanity to flow through the power of the internet into your ears uh, and just embrace it embrace it it's all good it's all good baby uh right what do we actually need to do here oh it doesn't say it there it says up there in that big obvious place i literally did the acting career off screen i have been playing the sims and i've been playing stardew valley a lot as well uh, but i've just been doing it off screen because again i've not been feeling very entertaining so i've just been taking my time to play my own game and i made myself a random sim <laughs> like she's in the acting career as well so I, I literally did this a couple of days ago and i've already forgotten how to do it i've just got a sim for a brain uh complete the performance oh critters what's it vulpes is i think that was vulpes get into hair and makeup practice acting she needs to do that and post its instagram story okay so let's pause because i don't want to waste any time here uh, I know that they are, yes, this is what we need, right? We need to distract someone from, <laughs> you wear it. Uh, we need to distract someone. So can we like call this person over or something? Let's pretend we're gonna teach her to knit and then steal this microphone. And then we're gonna practice acting. Right, so you get off there, please. Right, okay, we've, dis we've distracted her. We're not gonna teach her to knit. That was a fake. It was a ploy. According to who is that? She looks really pretty. It's Vanessa Young. She looks really, really pretty. She suits that outfit. Just admiring her there. <laughs> I like that this guy's behind us just like flashing his little bum. <laughs> I mean, he's not, but he could be. Right, Cinderella. Yes, practice your acting. You need to do that because you're not very good at acting. I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be frank with you here. Press. Uh, Small prints listing duration of pop. Oh no, she didn't sell it. Oh no. Was that another foot picture or is that something else? That looks like it was a picture of her, actually. I don't know. I don't know what it was. Never mind. Let's not worry about that right now. Sorry, I just paused for a second because I had to sniffle and I didn't think you'd appreciate me sniffling on camera. And now I'm just making sure that I'm still recording. <laughs> so, uh, sorry for the little hiccup there. Right, uh, get to know some, someone on set. Uh, where, who do, we want, I think we need to get to know Vulpes. Like, let's, let's be honest here. It's Judith Ward. Oh my God, Judith Ward is Vulpes. <laughs> She's a global superstar, and they've got a dress like that. <laughs> I think it's an improvement. I prefer it when she dresses like that. Uh, where her... Wait, who's this? She's pretty. She's cute. She's cute, too. I mean, the clones of each other, but the cute clones. Um... <gasps> Hello, Mortimer. 
Oh, well, hi there, Mortimer. Lovely to see you on set today. I want to get to know you even better than I already know you. I know we've had some good times. I know we've shared some brilliant memories, but I need to get to know somebody and it's gonna be you. Will it allow me to do it? It does allow me to do it. There we go. Come in and know me better, Malcolm. Uh, could you stop floating with my man, please? I mean, he's not my man. Knox is my man, but, you know, he's my man. And could you stop floating with him, please? Because we appreciate Bella in this house. Uh, in this society, we appreciate Bella Goth, and I can't allow... I can't allow... Bella to be betrayed in that way. Unless it's with me. And even there, I've got a line that, that I'm not prepared to cross because I ship Bella and Mortimer. Um, it, did, did that not work? What's happening? Here we go. Yeah, I'll get to know you better, man. Right, that is done. Okay, brilliant. Let's post, let's do this Instagram thing. Uh, Instagram story. We're on set, baby, yeah. First acting job. And it's a winner. The director looks pretty cute. Let's have a look at his face. He's a bit hipster and I like that. Yeah, I feel like I want to get to know this director better too. I'm not sure what's going on about the side of his hat there. His, his hair looks a bit Sims, Sims team. There's something a bit weird going on with this guy's head. But let's just ignore that. Pretend we can't see it. Let's get some just for men on him. And uh, it's gonna, it's all gonna be fine. Right, are you doing it, Cinderella? There we go. She's just took the picture. Post this Instagram story. And then we need to go and get into hair and makeup because we're wasting time here. Who is this? Misaki Kondo. I <laughs> like Marie Kondo. Uh, get hair and makeup for the gig. Sorry about my very squeaky mouse there. <laughs> Maybe I need a new mouse. Um, that's what you're all saying. We're like, we need, we need a new mouse here. This Cinderella mouse person, she is not working for me. A uh, small print has expired. Oh, and that was the fake foot picture, I think. The f and we took a picture of someone else's foot and pretended to, it was our foot and tried to get away with it. Nah, I'm sorry, nothing compares to our feet. It just, you know, quality. Quality is what sells. And that inferior person's foot isn't going to sell on uh, on Plopsy. Let's see what she gets. Oh my god, that is a lot of blusher. Oh, beautiful, yeah. Yeah, it looks great. Great job. Thanks, uh, not Marie Kondo. Oh my god, she's cutting very high. <laughs> What's it gonna be? I like this. I like the I like the not knowing. Yeah, sure, it's cute. I'm not convinced about that amount of blusher, but cute, sure, why not? <laughs> fine, fine, we'll take it. It's not the worst that she could have done. Uh, right, let's go in here. What's this Sim's name? Uh, so Sayori Matsuda. Okay, Sayori Matsuda. Can you uh, you give me a costume for this gig, please? <laughs> That's not the worst it could have been, honestly. I've had a few moments like that where I've, where I've put my makeup on like a bit too early in the morning. It's been a bit dark. I've definitely gone a bit overboard <laughs> on the blusher once or twice in my life. I can admit it. You know, we've all been there. <laughs> But now we have those makeup sliders, those great makeup sliders. So this never has to be a problem for us ever again. We can just slide that op opacity right down. I think it's opacity, is it? Or saturation, something like that, that we have the option for. Uh, okay, yeah, I would trust you to sell me. <laughs> like, hang on, let me get to her. Hello there. <laughs> Selena Kyle. Have you heard about the latest Gotham Lady perfume? Um, would you would you buy a COVID COVID vaccine from Cinderella? Would you allow Cinderella to give you a COVID vaccine or even a COVID test for that matter? It's like, would you trust this woman in any any medical capacity? <laughs> Looking at the care and attention that she applies her, her blusher with, would you trust her to shove a needle in your arm or a spatula? It's not a spatula, a spectrum. I don't know what they're called. A thing up your nose. Uh, I don't think so. I don't think I don't think this advert's going to do very well. <laughs> I'm going to be honest. Uh, right, she needs to eat some food first because who doesn't want to have? What have we got here? What's this? Chili. Who doesn't want to eat chili <laughs> when you've got <laughs> a nervous tummy? Hey. 
yeah, it makes perfect sense. You've got those nerves. Your tummy's rumbling. You feel a little bit like you're going to poop yourself. Eat some chili. Just, you know what? She's a risk taker. Cinderella is nothing if not a risk taker. And she's brave. And she knows. She's like, nah, fear, you're not going to conquer me today. Fear, I'm going to look you in the eye. And do you know what? I'm going to double down and eat some chili. Yeah, that's how scared I am of you, rumbly tummy. <laughs> This is going to go horribly wrong, isn't it? Right, okay, stop eating chili, Cinderella. Let's go and talk to this lovely, lovely, lovely hipster director over here, who I am into. Oh, wait, is it Takashi? Wait, do we already, already know him? Let's give him a, a respectful introduction. He does sound like he might be from Mount Komorebi, so we're going to make a good first impression. We're going to be like, oh, we've just gone back from our visit from Mount Komorebi. We learned all about local customs and traditions. I'm so worldly. <laughs> it did not go well. <laughs> He's like, I'm not from Mark Omaribi. You racist. <laughs> Should we send some of the Olympic credits? Um, right, what can we do? Get notes from the director. That's a good idea, right? Um, rave about... No. Uh, no. Um, like we need to try and cheer him up a bit. Let's brighten day. Compliment outfit. Get him in a good mood, right? Butter him up a bit. Okay, this ho 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 over here has come to talk to him. A uh, heartfelt compliment, a little bit of flattery, bright and day. He's in a good mood already, but we've made a bad impression, so let's see if we can do something about that. Tell a joke about barnacles. Um, we need him to like us a little bit more. Can we magic something? Spells? Infatuate? Can we make him infatuated with us? Is that a thing we can do? No? Okay. Alright, well. Okay. Let's, let's just tell him we're ready to perform. I mean, we've got this. We've got this in the back. We've got all the skill. <laughs> right, maybe we've not got very good acting skill, but we've got the blusher. We've got the blusher. It's going to blind him. Like any any lack in my acting performance today is just going to be distracted with the blusher. Like, listen. Yesterday we were in a dumpster, woohooing like the trash we are. Today we look like we could sell pharmaceuticals. So I say we're doing well. I say this is great. Right, uh, perform tree tree patiency. Perform tell joke tell joke scene uh okay how do i do that oh here look risky tell joke i'm going to imagine that we're telling a very lewd joke which is always risky but always ultimately worth it because even if everybody else is offended you at least get to have a little inner giggle right you you get to think about it later and have a little chuckle so uh yeah i say risky risky joke is the way to go Bombufa. Yes. Zoli Bombo. Zoli Boop Plarga Ufa. With a Yeah, she definitely has that like slightly seductive, like pervy look to her face as she told that joke. Did you like it? You liked it! Yes! Okay, get in cinders. Uh right, sir, sir. I'm gonna go with safe. <laughs> I'm gonna be on the safe side here. <laughs> Because I don't think we could be trusted with like a needle or anything like that. I'm there joking, I'm like, would you trust Cinderella to give you a COVID swab? And then he literally does. Uh, right, okay. Done. <gasps> Perform show product scene. Okay. Buy our weird things. Um, Let's go with safe. Right, we did one risky. We did one risky. And I feel that... I haven't done this acting job before. I've done quite a few, but I don't think I've ever done this one. I love it. And it harks back. It, it, it harkens back to The Sims 1 uh, uh, Superstar, which I loved. I played the poop out of that game. I don't know why I'm making so many poop references today. Just go with it. But I loved it. Loved it so much. 
She did it and she got gold. Amazing. Great job, Cinderella. Yeah, so I'm going to just let her do her own thing for a minute while I waffle on. So in The Sims Superstar, you could actually do acting as a career and you would go and you'd do little performances like this. And I loved it. I loved watching like the... Where, where's the director got? I loved watching the audience reaction, the way that the director had acted. I loved meeting the celebrities. I loved hanging around the sets. And I remember, like, oh, she's washing her hands now. <laughs> I mean, good idea, right? COVID. Um, you have just had your hands down this guy's gob. Um, but one of the scenes that you could do, it was like a, a soap opera, you know, like Days of Our Lives, that kind of thing. Um, and there was like a, a hospital scene that you could do. Wait, did that just turn into. He just completely changed person. <laughs> But yeah, and I really love that. I love that it's kind of referencing The Sims 1 Superstar. Like, that is... It just makes my heart warm. I think... I, I really think that the Get Famous team did a brilliant job with that. I like... I love the gigs. I, I, I love it. Right, that's a wrap. Cinderella has finished all her scenes. The crew is shutting down and the footage is being sent to editing. Brilliant. So she's earned some fame. She's earned some money. It's all good. Uh, I'm just going to go straight home. And I think I might be calling it a day a very successful golden day so um i don't know what i'm going to do next time i may try and build her a little house um mm, we don't have a huge amount of money to spend but i reckon we could do a little something something a little something something especially if we sell some of the absolute like junk that we've got going on in here in this inventory so uh yeah i think that might be the plan um in the next episode we may we may be taking our acting career seriously so we may have to uh transfer our enterprise to del sol valley i think that's the plan so uh thank you for sticking with me and thank you for still being here i'm assuming anyone's gonna watch this i might like look at it and have no views <laughs> which will depress me but let's not think about that right now um yeah but thank you if anyone does stick around after i've just completely deserted you all over christmas <laughs> like really appreciate it leave me a like subscribe share comment all that business uh, and i will see you again soon tag tag